If you spend any considerable amount of time on Twitter, you more than likely saw this tweet from Ruby Rose. Because as of the recording of this video, this tweet has gotten more than 131 million views. She tweeted these two pictures with the caption, I ran into my number one spender on OnlyFans. With one picture of him standing next to her and the other picture of what I'm assuming is his phone with the amount he spent on her. According to this picture, this man has spent over $62,000 on Ruby Rose's OnlyFans. Do you know how down bad you have to be to spend that kind of money on an OnlyFans girl? Do you know what you could get yourself with that amount of money? That's a down payment on a nice house. You could buy yourself a nice car, take some nice trips. You could do a lot with that kind of money. But this guy decided to spend it on an OnlyFans girl. I think he would have got better use out of it just starting a fire and using the money as fuel. Do you know what the sad part about this picture is? That he's the biggest spender and he couldn't even get a proper holding picture with her. He's doing the hover hand like Keanu Reeves except that when he does it we know it's to protect himself and the reason this guy is doing hover hand is because she probably didn't want this weirdo touching her. And look at what it says on his shirt. If I die, delete my browser history. I think the FBI needs to go ahead and enter and go take a look at his hard drives and see what they find in there because this guy gives me some fucking weird vibes you know so apparently this guy was also cool with and hung out with juice world when he was alive here's a clip of that I'm not insinuating anything, just find it interesting that this down bad creature used to hang out with a famous rapper. Also, look at this creep's glasses. He has what seemed to be recording glasses, so bro's probably recording this whole interaction so he can beat his meat to it. And it gets absolutely worse for my guy here in this whole situation. After meeting this guy and I guess giving him her number, this dude went on a fucking texting rampage texting ruby rose all kinds of shit i'll play the video of all the text messages if you want to read all of them you can go ahead and pause the video But I'll also read some of them out loud for you guys. One of his messages read, I will send you 10 Bitcoin right now if you answer me. That is worth almost $400,000. All you have to do is respond to me with one word, Ruby. Please, I need your attention. I need to make sure that my kitten is safe. What do you mean by that? First of all, I find it absolutely hilarious that he spent all that money on her just for her to save him as Brandon Weird OF fan on her phone. But what the fuck does he mean by that? His kitty? This man is absolutely positively down badder than any man has ever been in the history of mankind. Another one reads, Stop ignoring me. Why are you ignoring me after all of the money that I have given you to show you that I am only loyal to you and how much I love you and I appreciate you and adore you? How dare you not answer me? I see you are active posting on your Instagram story and you have not answered me once. You are making me very mad. I have treated you like a princess and you won't even take the time to respond to me. I will not tolerate this. She needs to get a restraining order at this point because if she doesn't, this shit might actually turn ugly she might end up chopped up in a bag somewhere god forbid fucking with this dude i think the biggest mistake she made was to give him her number this shit is absolutely wild it also doesn't surprise me that this dude is acting like this he's like one of those female twitch streamer fans that feel like if they make a large enough donation they're entitled to you and your time or that they will one day meet them and they'll be their girlfriend or wife or some shit i wouldn't be surprised if this guy's a tier 3 pokemans guys like this like abuse i have two more that i want to read from him that show how depraved and delusional this man is i will always love you nothing you can ever say to me will ever change my mind you are all i will ever need to be happy my beautiful kitten are you there my messages say that you read them but it could be a glitch like the last time when it said you read it for four days and you said you didn't this fucking clown actually believed that after she read his messages and ignored him that it was just a glitch <laughs> there's no fucking way bruh there's no fucking way bruh the worst part is that after that whole encyclopedia of text she ignored he sent her a video of his new tattoo of her on his leg Crispy in a few electric minutes.
This shit is so pathetic, I'm actually fucking speechless. Like, what do I say to some shit like this? I've already said that he's the most down bad man on the planet. It's crazy. But let me tell you guys that while doing research and reading tweets about this whole situation, the amount of OF thoughts on the timeline was at an all-time high. The amount of thoughts I had to block was insane. It was so bad that if I chose to record her replies, I couldn't show it to you on YouTube without blurring the whole thing. The amount of thoughties just looking for their brand and the replies was just off the chart. Do you know what I found funny about this whole situation? Absolutely nothing. I think that this whole situation is sad. You've got a man here who's clearly never been loved by another woman, possibly not even his mother, because he is absolutely obsessed. And the amount of OF thoughts and replies that were looking for their Brandon weird OF fan is also sad because having someone this clearly obsessed with you can turn dangerous really quickly. Yeah, it's nice to have a fan donate 60k until he becomes so obsessed with you that he shows up at your house and they're reporting you missing on the news. In my opinion, this guy needs some sort of psychological intervention because this isn't healthy but that's enough for me guys i want to know what you guys think in the comments down below peace